Hey everybody, it's Life with Gwen and Joe. This is my beautiful wife, Gwen. I'm Joe. It's another beautiful day again in Tennessee. Today we're going to talk about going for it. Last week, Gwen gave a 20-day challenge for everybody to deny their, their worldly personal passions and to get into the spirit deeper and deeper and to ex exercise God's will. So we're going to talk more about that today. Yes, we're going to go for it. Life with God is so good. So come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. You need to start? I want you to start. Okay, so this week we are going to be trying to <laughs> do everything we can to encourage you to stay on this one focus and off yourself. I mean, you know, it's one thing to say focus on this, but it's the getting off of yourself. And so we want to do everything we can to uh, psych each other up and encourage one another. It says in the Bible to do that, to encourage one another. So, hey, what did, you used to play football, so what, what did y'all do to, oh my to goodness. Get, get each other psyched up? That's kind of funny. Okay, so before the games, uh, the guys, the team would get out there on the field and we'd kind of stand in this grid pattern, one next to each other and, and rows back. And the coach would get up in front of us and we and we kind of get get on the balls of our feet and, and squat down a little bit and, he, and he, he'd go Hup, like that and everybody go Hup. <laughs> and then he'd go Hup, like that and, and so everybody go Hup, 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 like that and kind of really get charged hey, up to I go out there. I psyched up listening to that. We're going to go know? play football after this. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're gonna like spirit football. We are definitely gonna throw some touchdowns on that, and so that's you, right. You played what uh, position were you? Uh, I played cornerback on defense, and I played a wide receiver. Definitely a great athlete. So praise God for that. I know you praise God for that. So yeah. well, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna really put on our athletic gear for God because in the end, don't you know that that's all that matters? It's really worth it. When you put everything into finding the Spirit, it produces a harvest of right living, righteousness, which is your salvation. And so, you know, uh, we were made for good works, it says in Ephesians, made for it. And that's what we want to do, so. Right, uh, and, and, and 2 Timothy talks about what you just said. Uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, for God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. And I agree with that. The human I, spirit is, can be, the humans, there's nothing more powerful than a person who has really made up their mind to do something. Yes, there are scriptures that will really, really help you to get in that mind, mindset that you've got to do this. And here's one out of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him, for God's temple is sacred, and you are that temple. That's incredible. We to are know. God's temple. We're that God's is. temple, and it's sacred. And if we destroy it, then He's going to destroy us. That is what I call psyching each other up, because I, I don't want that. I want to be found on that last day to be a faithful servant and taking care of this temple. He's created these, these beings not for us to go and indulge ourselves and to go destroy ourselves with drugs, alcohol, with, you know, lust, all kind of lust that talks about sexual lust that destroys the body. We all know that. I mean, talk about people have worried about coronavirus. There's a lot more people dying for all these sexual diseases than anything like this. These are things that, that we, do, we want to avoid that destruction. We want to live an upright life. And so that, that's one of those. You got another one? Sure, it says, therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Absolutely, that is a great one. So why don't we talk about walking in the spirit again? Because if you lose sight of what you're doing, then you know, you're, you, you've messed everything up. And that's why it takes all of your mind, because a lot of people, they'll eat, they'll do good in the, in the day, mm -hmm. and then they do bad at night. But what they're doing is they're only giving it this lip service in the daytime, and then when it comes to night, they're not doing what the Bible calls for. And that is, you give all of your mind, all of your, all of your soul, all, all, your whole soul, and your whole passion, your whole heart, and then you give all your strength. 
And, and that is the scripture that said that sums up the entire Old and New Testament. The this, this one scripture that sums everything up that God's asking is to love him with all your heart and soul and mind and strength. And if you love him with all of it instead of loving yourself, and people love themselves. They love themselves with all of their heart and all their soul and all their mind and all their strength. And so, like we talked about last week, they, you know, they're at odds. And if you, if you love yourself more than you love God, then you can't walk in the spirit. You can't do what he wants. Right, I gotta just take a moment to, to acknowledge the fact that I've never seen a person love God and devote themselves to God's work more than you, darling. Uh, you really are an amazing lady. Um, each and every day that Gwen lives, she devotes her time, her, her heart, her soul, her energy, to serving God, serving other people in God, and it's really an amazing thing to watch. I have to tell you that because I've never seen anything like it, so. Well, I, I, I thank you, thank you. All I know is, I, I don't know how, how it all compares. All I know is that we're all trying to walk in those footsteps of Christ, to pick up that cross and deny ourselves. And I can testify that I, when I go that direction of self-denial, then, it's the, the day is amazing. And you wake up the next day very happy. And instead of gratifying myself at night, you know, and waking up the day, next day sad, you know, so it's so, there's something to it. And God's gonna humble us all to just, to we finally walk in the spirit. Because what are we gonna do when we get to heaven? We're gonna be those that are under authority and walking in that spirit. And so he gives us this chance to practice not only with finding that growl every day and denying yourself if you don't feel that growl, you, you can't make a decision to gratify yourself. But even getting like getting in under a husband, that opportunity to get under authority, your church leaders under authority and upholding, if you learn to uphold that authority, you're doing exactly what is salvation because that's what you're gonna be doing in heaven. How do you do that? You uh, Learning to uphold that husband. Children, upholding your parents. Church members, upholding godly leaders. And when you tear them down, that's what you would do in heaven. You'd never make it to heaven if you're tearing down those above you and uh, making excuses. And somehow, if you're struggling with your weight, then you are tearing down that authority above you and you are gratifying yourselves. And so flip it. I love doing that. If there's like, he's wanting to go one way, I'm thinking another, I just stay quiet and I let, I let him lead. I let that spirit lead. What am I doing doing that? Some people say, well, why do the men get to do that? Hey, we're lucky. Women are lucky because we're getting to practice it here and it's what we're gonna be in heaven. And the men are practicing it with their bosses and, 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 God. Con and conversely, when I see her doing those things and kind of dying to her will, I feel the essence of that. And in turn, God designed my heart, I think, to, to want to then die to my will and say, wow, she, she's really, really letting me take the lead here, but, but I don't want to see her go without. And so it kind of works in... in it's reciprocal. Yeah, it's reciprocal. And I, I think God was very ingenious in designing our hearts to work that way. Um, so it's a beautiful thing, it really is. It's a beautiful thing and it, that means it's, it's a piece of heaven. And so I can tell you, this, these uh, days that we've got left in this 20 day, this 20 day going for it, uh, I want to I want to thank everybody for you know going for it, and then I want to also encourage you know for you to adopt this as a lifestyle for the rest of your life to embrace the self denial and then wait for that jewel that blessing on the end of it because when it comes that happy on the end of it just that we get closer because I deny myself and let him lead I I don't want to not be closer. I want to be, and whatever I'm doing with him, I would do with the Heavenly Father. And whatever you do with your leaders, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. And so, wow, what an opportunity that we have to deny ourselves. God gives us something every day 
uh, for us to, to get in line. I want to go for it, and boy, it, it helps with uh, taking care of the temple, and we don't over, you know, not overdoing it with anything, taking care of the temple, taking care of God's house, and we are that house. We're praying for you guys. We know, we know that you can have that discipline and to achieve all the things, whether it's weight gain or getting closer to God or getting rid of whatever vices that, um, that are haunting you in your life. Stay strong, pray about it, listen to what Gwen says, and um, the outcome will be fantastical. So. Beautiful way to end this show. Yes. Just thank you everybody for joining us. We love y'all. And we are praying for you. Get psyched up. Deny yourself. It'll be fun. Praise God. Praise God. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> oh. Love y'all. You've done it before. You've tasted 100% focus before. We can be victorious. Make your own determination. And I am counting on everyone getting it all the way. Kick it into higher gear. Kick it into a higher gear. You can do this. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have it in the